Hello everyone. This is what we're going to do today. Very simple, not shaped logo. It may look kind of a little bit complicated, but it is pretty simple. So please just follow my instructions step by step and then you will make it. So uh, please yeah, subscribe my channel, hit the like button and set the notification for my latest video. Then let's get started. Okay. So on the first, uh, create yet a new Adobe Illustrator document, just a letter size, paper size. And then um, first uh, choose your rectangle tool and set your fill color to nothing and just a black stroke. Okay. Then hit somewhere. We're going to make a rectangle the size of a 300 point width by a 100 point height. Say OK. Now switch your tool to direct selection tool. You see that little tiny circle? Pick one of them, keep pressing your mouse button, and drag it. So we have a rounded corner, like this. Now I'm switching to the uh, regular uh, selection tool. Now open your stroke panel. We're going to uh, increase the stroke weight up to 40 point. So it's pretty heavy. OK, then now hold down the Shift key. Place your mouse cursor close to any anchor point, you see that? And keep pressing and rotate it. Just 45 degree. Then in your toolbox, choose your reflect tool, double click your reflect tool on vertical axis and copy. So we have two. Select both. <clears throat> then go to object menu and expand it. Check the fill and the stroke panel uh, checkbox. Okay, so now these are not lines anymore. It's a shape. Now go to object menu, path, and offset path. Uh, offset value uh, 10 point, and then a meter uh, meter limits uh, four. Say okay. Now select everything. Okay, let me zoom in. This is the most important part of this whole process. So first, choose your Shape Builder tool, Shape Builder. <clears throat> then we're going to delete from this one. Hold down the Option key, click, and remove that, and skip this section. Then now on this next section, Select this one and delete it. I'm keep, I keep holding down the, um, uh, the option key. And here, there, here, and there. So it's a kind of a pattern. Now, remove all the outer borders like this and the inside one. So i remove it, remove that, remove that one. Remove this, remove, remove, delete, and delete. And then you will see that a lot of tiny squares. Delete all tiny squares. All gone. Okay, now since we are making some kind of a weaving pattern, hold down the option again, Shape Builder tool, and delete this. Delete these two, these two, and these two. So we're almost done. Then open your Pathfinder and unite it. That's it. So we're done with the, um, the shape, the regular, uh, the basic uh, the not shape logo or symbol. Now select it. Copy this. Now go to Photoshop and create a new document 1000 pixel by 1000 pixel, 72 dpi. I'm going to keep a uh, black background. Say OK. Create it. So it is the end of our black uh, square document. And paste the copied symbol. Choose pixels. OK. Hold down the option key. And make it bigger. About that size. And hit the return. Now, please download the uh, image. Uh, I made a link uh, to this file in my description. It's a kind of dry land. 
then please choose your crop tool and uh, I set my uh, width height and resolution not the ratio with height and resolution size of a thousand pixel by thousand pixel and 72 dpi okay so I'm um, and just crop it okay then select all command A then go to edit menu and scroll down we're going to define that image that square image as a pattern okay I'm gonna name it dry underscore land okay now back to here oops then in your layers panel double click your layer it opens the other layer style panel then first we're gonna apply uh, pattern choose pattern overlay you see that this is the pattern I just made <coughs> excuse me you can control the scale you can control the angle but uh, I will just keep it as it is okay then now it looks too kind of flat so now go to bevel and emboss so this is my option inner bevel chisel hard and the depth you can control the depth somewhere there okay and you can control the size and then the softness hardness so I think I'm, I'm okay say okay so we're done okay so um, uh, from Illustrator we made this basic symbol in Illustrator and we transferred to Photoshop and applied the app some uh, layer style okay I hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time